Use this quick hike play for easy first downs and sometimes one play touchdowns. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure it's the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss a up upload. Alright, so guys, I'm, I'm actually still in the Raiders playbook, roll, rolling with the single back wide trips. I jumped in this formation just because I wanted to add a little bit more running um, from this particular formation. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at this as a pass play. This play is uh, fairly effective for passing uh, probably be primarily because you have some pretty good pass route combinations uh, that are very difficult to, to stop and they can give you fairly easy reads and some easy yardage down the field now you can find this out of the single back wide trips in the Raiders the Bengals the Panthers and the Cardinals but also but also you can find the Jets soar in other formations such as the Colts the Titans uh, the Cowboys uh, the Eagles uh, Redskins and the Chargers uh, in the Rams, so it's it's in a big it's in, in usually about you're going to find it in a lot of different formations, so you should, you should definitely go ahead and take a look at it. Now uh, these pass play this pass play is not the best pass play against uh, man blitzing, uh, primarily because you you have you know you can get picked off because of where the area of these these routes are at if you run it stock. Uh, but you've got the little dig route that you can jump into uh, that you can you can pop. You got the little crosser in the back end side. And then uh, let's see if we can get some blocking here uh, with uh, with my running back. Let's see. You can also get an opportunity to go ahead and pop your opponent up top right there. So I'm going to block my running back, shave my protection, and hopefully I can get an opportunity to go ahead and chuck this up. Uh, and it's going to give you an opportunity for a one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, not the best thing because you've got under center, you got a little bit, you got less time. Uh, to get to get things off so let's see if Roberts can beat his man here and uh, he barely does but uh, obviously the pressure comes in so I don't want to show this uh, to to you too much because uh, it's just not going to be realistic uh, that you're going to get these tough opportunities against the man blitzes so let's go and jump against cover two cover three cover four. so against cover two what would happen is you've got this opportunity to go ahead and hit the seam and what you do is just do an inside pass lead and an aggressive catch, and you can actually pick up some pretty good yards against someone that's using a lot of cover too. So uh, that actually puts you in a situation where uh, you can get some pretty easy, cheap yards right in the middle of the field. You can see I'm picking up uh, a good 25 yards right there uh, with that play. All I could do is just wait uh, for the de for the guy to clear the defender, and I'm getting a good chunk of change off off the side right there. Uh, I've also got the little crossing route I can drop it down to, and then I've got this check down route with the running back that I can check down to. So I've got some routes, over, and and I've also got the deep dead in route. If I can get it to it, I don't think I can because this uh, off uh, defensive line is just really, really good. And I'm just being stubborn. I'm just trying to show this to you uh, how you can do that. But you can see right here, I've got the end route. So a lot of I, I've got four routes I could potentially hit. Uh, that streak route is going to pull a defender out there. He's going to have to manually take that out. The deep comeback route is for cover three and cover four. So we're going to go and jump to that now. So against cover three, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch Roberts and watch if the defender actually follows him up through the streak. If he does, I'm going to be looking to LaFell for the deep comeback. If the defender actually, if the defender over Roberts and just jets out towards the sideline to actually play a cloud flat, then I'm going to be looking to Nelson and, and Cook, uh, Cook on the opposite side. And usually Nelson will be wide open if the guy's playing hard flats. So let's just watch right here. And uh, what we had, had to do is actually check it down to the running back because of the way it looked like it was some matching principles. And I didn't like how uh, the, the receiver does, does that. But uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and just do a nice little uh, catch right there with that particular route. That should have been a catch where we had that opportunity. So we're going to go ahead and possession catch this just so we can get the yardage and actually pick this up. So that's going to be our read is going to be Roberts, just the one defensive back. And we're just going to go ahead and, and basically try to take that shot right there. So I had to get rid of the ball right there because it's having some massive block shits going out. But what's cool about this is you got the little check down with the running back so you can actually do that uh, against your opponent. 
So also what you can get is these opportunities too. So against cover three, sometimes you have matching opportunities where you can go house against your opponent with this eager play. And it's just, that's why you want to watch this fly route because this is going to be the opportunity. So I'm, I'll show you what I'm looking at in instant, re instant replay. So I'm watching this guy. He's, a, he's my primary read. And I'm going to watch what's going to happen. So you can see the defensive back actually starts following and then cuts off. There's some kind of a matching principle going on right here. And look, this defensive back is out of position. This is a linebacker. He's not going to be able to keep up with 90 plus speed uh, wide receiver. And he just completely peels off. And I'm already, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to let go of this ball and let it go. So I'm watching this guy right here, and if I know there's no over-the-top coverage, this guy completely pulls out of the way, I know I've got one, uh, basically this guy in an island. Now, my next read is going to be this guy. So if this guy follows, uh, fo follows up, uh, follows him, and I've got over-the-top coverage back here, I'm basically looking at this guy because there's just no way uh, on this comeback route this defender is going to be able to stop it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this uh, for an easy completion. And then my next read is going to be this crossing round on the back end side, and then obviously the check down with the running back. Now, if the opponent is playing hard flats or cloud flats, you're going to get a, a very fast read, and you know we're going to you know exactly where to go with it with the read. So basically, what's going to happen is that this defender is going to give you a fast read and where you need to go with the ball. So he goes, he just basically beelines to to the to the outside, to the sideline. He just lets this guy, he's like a manador. He's like, oh, lay, just go right by. Now, I could try to squeeze that pass in there or just wait for it to develop. But you can see these guys are carrying right now. And I'm actually in an area where this guy might actually be able to pop me, especially if he's in a cloud flat. If he's in a cloud flat, he's going to play up a little bit higher and he'll jump this deep comeback route. So I want to go with the high percentage pass. So basically, I'm going to go to the backhand side. Now, if I've got a cloud flat or basically a hard flat look, Look, I know this in route is going to be naked on the back end side, and this defender is not going to be able to get position to play it. So that's why I'm just going to pop that ball on the opposite side, and I'm going to throw it deliberately because I know he's not going to be there unless this guy is making some kind of adjustments. Uh, but based on uh, the fly route, uh, the likelihood of him having a buzz flat out here is very low. All right, so cover four drop is a very common defense. You can see once again the actual guy comes out. So we're just going to go ahead and just pop it off to the left uh, is going to be this route. So uh, what's cool about it is that as he switches things up, you're going to basically get this these type of reads. You can do this. He's going to have to manually stop this against you. And if you throw it into a scheme, uh, it, it can definitely become very dangerous for, uh, for him. So you can see the running back route is not going to get picked up. Uh, he's going to have to manually adjust it, and, and basically you're hitting your opponent in, in different areas of the field, so he's not going to be used to these type of reads. So that's what I like about this eager play. So guys, uh, you should go ahead and jump into it. You throw it in with a scheme with, uh, with a delayed uh, pump draw and other plays. It's just definitely going to give him a hard time. So once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support. If you do like these tips, make sure you hit, this, hit the like button, and I'll be rolling out some more Madden gameplay and uh, schemes for you guys to go ahead and take your game to the next level. Thanks for your support, and until next time.